Hello, I'm Andrew Lissin. We are in Dwarf Fortress. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Now, what is the date? The 25th of Felsite, late spring. Okay, the only reason I know what's going on is it says late spring there. I'm not that much up on my dwarfish dates, I must admit. Alright. Well, let's go back and let's resume. What's going on? We have a lot of idlers, right? We have 20 idlers for some reason. Why? That's a lot of idlers. How many dwarfs? What are you not doing, I guess? I guess you've not got much to do. Well, if we go down to our workshops down here, we should see... Smelter, kiln, glass furnace. Smelter. Okay. Okay. Nope, oh, you're the wrong one. Whoops. Right, uh, let's go down to the smelter. So, add new task. Then we go up to smelt. Why are you all red? Should be red. There should be things to smelt. A new task. Well, we know we've got tetrahydrite ore, so... Smelt the ten... Can I not smelt the tetrahydrite ore? Maybe it's because we don't have any charcoal. Yeah, we're still waiting for charcoal to be worked on. Which is a shame. I'd like my charcoal to be done, please. Someone cook me some t charcoal. It's kind of... kind of important. Okay, the guy's cooking me some charcoal now. It's a good guy. I like him. Stop production of drink. Charcoal 1 has been produced. Why are you stopping production of drink? I'm guessing you reached your limit again? Let's have a look. Yes, see, there we go. Drink has reached its limit. It's a really useful plugin workflow. I love it. I love it to do. And you can see our rock mugs have dropped quite dramatically. We're going to have to make more of them. Mechanisms are sitting pretty at free. Shouldn't you have given me a job to make more? Hmm. Prepared food is pretty flat. I, you should be making more food. What is going on? Why have we still not made any rock coffins? Okay. Let's see if we can do that. Hmm, it is now summer. Well, good for you, but I actually would like myself some coffins, please. I'm gonna manually make us some coffins. Uh, let's make 20. Actually, no, let's make half the number. No, let's make less than the number that triggers the stop, so... Move that to the top, because it should stop when it hits 10. So if we make 9, it should still be building them, so we'll see if it won't. Okay, so our idlers have started doing stuff again. We've got a lot of people making charcoal, which is nice. I'm going to go into the smelter, add new task. No? Why can't we do stuff? Tell me, tell me why can't we do stuff, game? Smelt me some tetrahydrite ore. Why? We've got some tetrahydrite ore here. I can... I can tell you for a fact this is tetrahydrite. Maybe it's because the charcoal is in someone's hand. Charcoal should be here now. This is charcoal, right? It just says it's a bin. Okay. Do we have the ability to make tetrahydrite or now? No. Interesting. Okay, right, we've finally got our door, so we can go down to the bottom while we figure out what the hell's going on. Let us load up, um, I believe, it's outfitting. Then we need to go B for bed. Place our bed, um, well, I guess there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Bam. Done. Let's also build ourselves another 20 beds and another. 20 doors. Now we should see a whole flow of people coming down, ready to do that. There we go. And now people should be pretty happy because they get to have somewhere to sleep! Well, yeah, once they've finished uh, putting everything in place, which they will do in a minute because, well, there's plenty of them doing this. And... Done. Right, there we go. That was nice and quick, actually. I like the efficiency of these dwarves sometimes. 
Right, so we need to load up, we need to allocation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Why did we end up over there? This is a free bed, right, and this is a free bed, okay. That's fine then. There we go, we now have 40 beds, and I believe we only have 27 doors, so we've got a bit of space. That's why I'm creating some more uh, beds and some doors so that we can open up another wing at some point in the future. Let's also go D and S, smooth stone, and let's smooth out these beds to make them uh, a little bit more cosy. Let's just do it everywhere. Merchants be leaving. That's fine. Resume production drink. Good. I enjoy you doing me some drinking. What was that? Uh, cancel plant seed. Need plump helmet spawn. Okay, so you've done all your plump helmet spawn. That's fine. Aha, we have a new thing here. This is going to be a stockpile for stone. So let us get ourselves... That's the wrong one. P. S for stone. And let us change our settings. There are a couple of things I don't really want in here. I don't want um, metal ores, but I'm fine to have everything else. So, B to block all. No, allow all. And then I guess we go F for forbid. There we go, metal ores. And I guess this can be a second one for metal ores down. Change settings. Stone. And let's get rid of other stone from here. Uh, how many wheelbarrows have you got? Free, okay. Well, we'll change you to having free as well. Resume. There we go. And while we're here, let us set up another workflow for T. We want wheelbarrow. Uh, make it out of wood. Okay, I don't know what to do. Can't create it out of wood, so, well, what do you get created out of? Plant? Wood? No. Okay. That's odd. I can I can specify exactly what wood. Oh, material class. There we go. I can change the material class. Okay, okay, okay. I like that idea. I like that idea. So, how do I get to the material class? I was doing this the other day. I, I'm suddenly at a loss for how I get to material class. Plus and minus changes the quality. Material, if I use P, is any material. But I want to go to material class, so... C just changes it to crass, doesn't it? Yeah. I want it to be wheelbarrow. How do I get to material class? I don't know. Oh, up and down. We are actually selected there. Yeah, B out of wood. Seems good to me. Do we have, like... No, I was hoping we'd have, like, coal or something there. Oh, well. And any wooden, and we want our range to be... Um... Three to four. Great new. Can't produce wooden wheelbarrow. Yes, you can. Don't lie to me. And there we go. Now people are trundling backwards and forwards with wheelbarrows, picking up some stones, moving into the bigger stockpile. Should free up some space, and that should mean people down below can move spare up there. Which is good. You need more plump helmet spawn. Well, you're not getting any. No, Why? Because you've nicked all the plump helmet spawns. And the merchants, well, the elvish merchants, have uh, abandoned us off on their mission journey thing. Don't care. I really don't care. Oh, oh, so we've got some bars. Those look like bars. Let's see if we can finally smell ourselves. Yes, we can! Tetrahydrite. What else have we got? We could uh, make billion? I don't want to make billion. Well, it looks like we're having a lot of copper then. Copper! And put it on repeat. And... Seems good to me. Thief! Protect the horde. Sorry, He'll probably leave when he's discovered. There he goes. Uh, leaving. Pandaman is fighting. The business bronze bolt strikes the pandaman in the left ear, tearing the cartilage. The architect attacked him. Okay. 
Fair enough, fair enough. You're scared of the Panda Man, but you don't have to attack him. At least we know we've got crossbows. How are we going on with that stockpile up there? It's going slowly. Well, we've made a load of charcoal. It's good to know. And our idlers are very low. Zero to two. So that's good. We made the rock poxes. Po pox? The pox. Yes, we've made the plague. I've made the rock pots as well. Which is good. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's all going fairly well, actually. I just jinxed us. Oh, well, let's go and have a look at training ourselves some militia. Now, where will we put the militia? I'm thinking we put the militia... Hmm. Probably here. So, let's actually just give them a, just a giant room. Because, why not? It is, you know, a fairly... Uh, Which will be fine. Uh, it's, a, it's a fairly, you know, it's a thing where you can have a lot of squads training at one time. Having them all training in one room is, you know, perfectly adequate. Let's also make ourselves some armor stands. Let's make them out of rock. Uh, I think six is fine. Let's make ourselves some more wooden chests. I think, you know, uh, five. And we don't need archery targets. You can just build them straight away. What else do we need? I think some beds, so people can sleep up there. I think six would be fine. Yeah, seems good to me. You need logs to make ash. Are we out of logs? Yes, we are. Oh, ghostly farmer. Crap, that's the guy who got squished. Did we make those coffins? Please tell me we made some coffins. We made one coffin. Okay, okay, okay. We need to build that coffin, because there's a ghost. Now, ghosts... Ghosts are bad. Let's, um... Do, uh, we need doors... Construct me rock doors. Construct me, I don't know, 15 of the bastards. We will need lots of them. Uh, build D. Door. Go. Ghosts can kill people. We can't hurt ghosts. Burial receptacle. And you see we have... Um, someone cancel something because of a ghost. Where is it? There we go. Ghostly Farmer is risen and is hunt haunting the fortress. Yeah. And that will, of course, make people sad. Which is bad. We can end up with a tantrum spiral. There we go. Use for burial. B. Uh, don't allow pets. And hopefully someone will come put his body in there. But I don't know if his body's left because we just squish him with a gate. And they don't leave much in the way of remains gates. Hoping someone will come and deliver his body. But I'm not certain. <laughs> that's that's the problem. I mean, see all these people coming to the hospital and nicking all that stone. Putting it up in the place that we really uh, want them to. Yes, there we go. Stone's getting fairly full here. Has anyone put him in there? There we go. Current owner. Ghostly Farmer. There we go. And that means that he'll be put to rest and... He will not be haunting us anymore. Let's get ourselves some more trees. So D, T, chop down tree. D, T, chop down tree. Do, 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 do. Sounds like it could be uh, a top hit. Bam. Getting fairly well on with those walls. It's not amazing. It's getting there. It's getting there. Have we got anything sitting just there? It seems like we've got a lot of stuff uh, lying around. Okay. Sorry, I can't do it, sir. Just waiting for someone to move them. Castles make charcoal. We need the logs. Don't worry, we'll get the logs soon. We need to make ourselves some more axes, I think. Um, wooden training axe. Make ourselves... Um, I don't know, five of that. They're only made of wood. And let's boost priority. Um... Maybe we're not making any coffins because I said make of rock instead of... Yeah. Let's delete that and try again. Uh, yes. A. T. Let's make a coffin. And let's make from... Stone. Any stone. Range. T. 
10 to 20 and eat one time. Create. Goblet. Yeah, maybe we need to alter goblet as well. How do I alter you? I'll just delete you and start again. Uh, let us make a goblet. Make you from... Oh, whoops. We could, we could aim to have masterful quality. I don't mind, really. Let's go for the ordinary quality. Um, stone. And yes. Still not made any mechanisms. Okay. Let's make some mechanisms. I would like... Just make 20 for now. I want to make traps. I wanted to explain to you guys about the miracle that is traps. Um, you can abuse the system with traps. You can actually use them to make, say... Cage traps. Yes, cage traps. That's the one. And they're completely overpowered. Yeah, that means you can catch pretty much anything. Like, even dragons can get captured in a cave tra cage traps. And then you have yourself a cage dragon. Some migrants have arrived. Woohoo. One, two, three. Uh, third one's a bunny. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen... It looks like 13 to me. Let's have a look what Dwarf ha uh, dwarf Therapist says. Read Dwarves. 12. Oh, yeah, that was close. 12. We now have 50 dwarves. Wow, that's, that's rather sudden. We have 50 dwarves. Dwarfs. Something like that. Huh. Well. We're going to start going through our things a bit quick. So I think we need to alter some of these. So any prepared. You need to be now 100 to 150. Drink. Uh, you need to be... Let's go 100 to 150 as well. Goblets, you are 100 150, aren't you? Oh, no, I didn't change you. Uh, did I change the other ones? Did I change coffins? Yes, I did change coffins. Mm, yeah, that's fine. Right. So, we've got a couple of things we can do now. For a start, we can start thinking about our military. I'm actually going to have a look. Did we build any of those things I asked for? We probably can't build the training axes just yet. I think we might need a forge for that, despite the fact it's not a weapon. Or well, it's not... It's not a metal weapon, but I don't know where we build it. Could just be at the carpenters, in which case we're fine. Um... Have we built ourselves armor stands? No. Okay, okay. We could do with ourselves having uh, a squad of dwarves. So this is a good point to actually have a look and see what we have. Now let's look in military. Red, by the way, means awful. So we've got... This guy is just... Um... You... No, okay. There we go, there we go. Quite clumsy. This is just the equipment. Very slow to heal. Stuff like that, that's what we've got to look out for. Now, toughness is nice, so strength. But stuff like dodger, there we go, that's kind of useful. Siege engineer, siege operator, not as important by any means. Really don't have to worry about that one. And honestly, it looks like our dwarves are pretty meh. Like, proficient swords dwarf is okay. Alright, that's, that's good. But it's not anything above that. Mm -hmm. Things like competent mace dwarf. They're uh, they're a small bonus, but in the grand scheme of things, not very much whatsoever. So what we'll do now is we'll actually set ourselves up a squad. So I'm going to go to uh, I think it's S for squads. No, we have to go to the military screen first. So M for military. As you can see here, we have a militia commander. We don't have a militia commander. And we don't have anyone here. So C for create squad. Bam. Uh, we can give them a uniform. I don't think we have any leather armor. I would like to have leather armor, but I guess we're going to have to wait to trade some leather for, until we can actually get decent amounts of leather. Um, I'm going to tell them to be archers. And they're called the Abbeys of Mining. Let's use Shift N to change the name of the squad. And we'll change them to... Uh, they're actually going to be crossbows. So, crossbowers. Just called them crossbows. And we can change their uniform with N. 
They have leather armor, leather headwear, leather legwear, leather handwear, leather footwear, leather shields or bucklers, and individual choice of melee. I don't want them to have that. Or is that is that the leather uniform? No, it's the uh, there we go. They've got the arch uniform. Sorry, their selection is, huh? No, I want you to have the leather selection. I don't want you to have what you've currently got. Let's check your equipment. I oh, no, no, your equipment now is there. We go. I've changed your uniform. So there we go. The uniform you can select the uniform from there, and then you can, you know, change it around here. So E is for equip. N is for uniform. Let's go to E equip. And they've got leather armor, leather headwear, leather legwear, leather handwear, leather footwear, shield or buckler, individual choice ranged. I don't think I really want them having shield or bucklers. Uh, it's more stuff that we have to try and find to give them. So we can use enter to delete that. Individual choice ranged. No, I want you to have something that I tell you to have. We are dwarves. You will have something that I tell you to have. So I think if we hit, is it W for weapon? Yeah, shift W. I want you to have crossbows. We can also give them a hand weapon. Um, I don't know if we'll actually have enough stuff to go around to give them hand weapons as well. But let's do it for now. Um, the reason I'm doing this is crossbows, right. You can make a crossbow out of any material. Your crossbow can be made out of silver, it could be made out of copper, and it will act the same. The crossbow material does not affect, you know, the damage it does. The bolt does, so, you know, having a, you know, a decent bolt, like a steel bolt as opposed to a wooden bolt, does mean more damage. But the actual crossbow material doesn't affect it, at least as far as I understand it. What the crossbow material does affect is using it in close combat, like whacking someone over the head with it. Because your dwarves, when faced with someone in close combat, will use their crossbow to bludgeon someone to death if they don't have a better weapon. And, well, bludgeoning a weapon's heavy, heavy is good. Copper is nowhere near as good as silver. We could give them silver crossbows, that is something I'm actually tempted to do. Actually, very tempting. We'll give them silver crossbows. It'll be hilarious. So let's go back out. They have leather armor and a crossbow. That'll be a silver crossbow. Uh, we can also go to F for ammunition. And they have bolts, 100. If we go down to... Cro uh, that's, of course, hunters, by the way. If we go to crossbows, you can see they have bolts, 250. And they're using that for training as well as combat. So let's use Shift-T to get rid of that. And let's change it with Shift-M to be material metal. But we can also change it to be material bone. And honestly, I like using bone bolts. They're not as good as metal bolts, but they're fairly cheap. And then you can train them using wooden bolts. So we can also then give them uh, another one. So let's say C for add item, uh, have a bolt, shift M for material, and we'll have it out of wood. There we go. And then shift C for using combat. And there you go. It's now training only wooden bolts. And wooden bolts, they're cheap. They're easy to make. Bam, done. Bone bolts, they can use them in combat. Make sense? Does to me. Right, um, I'm actually going to say we lay off on using something complicated like uh, metal bolts, mainly because it just means more stuff to put on the metal. And, uh, well, we're currently going to be making some nice silver crossbows. We're also going to have to be making some leather armor, and I don't think we have uh, enough leather anywhere near enough leather. We're hoping that someone comes along with some leather bins that they want to sell us. Leather is actually fairly cheap when you buy it off traders. It's like 70 bucks for an entire bin. It's amazing stuff. Especially if you get the cheapy leather. Cheapy leather makes just as good armor as expensive leather. It's one of these things. Anyway, I think this is fairly good. We'll leave it at this. You can change the amounts, by the way. You can go plus and minus to change the amounts. I'm thinking, actually, we just decrease that to 200. And we can actually add an order to make bone bolts and then keep it at a certain amount. But I'm actually going to do it the old-fashioned way. Bone. Bolt. There we go. Make bone bolts. Make me 30. Make bone. Bolt. Make me 30. That's 60. Bone. Bolt. Make me 30. That's 90. Bone. Bolt. Make me 30. 120. Bone. Bolt. Make me 30. That's 150. Bone, bolt, make me 30, that is 180, bone, bolt, 210. We now have enough for an entire squad, however I would like a little bit of overlap. I wish I'd done it using workflow, it would have been quicker this way, it would have been quicker that way, but we're also going to make ourselves some wooden bolts. 
let's actually not do it this way. Uh, we will put 30 in, but I'm actually going to use workflow for the wooden bolts because it's something we want a repeat of. So we want bolt made out of any type of wood. Let's go down and find ourselves some wood. Wood, 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 wood. Where is you? Where are you? You're the second one. I skip past you because I'm silly. And change the range. Uh, we want the range to be 100 to 150, I guess. So that people can constantly train with them. Actually, let's change the range. I don't really want the full 100. I think people will be fine with 50. People don't often train. So 50 to 100. Good to me. Yeah, that suits me just fine. If we check here, we are filling up that quite nicely. I think we will need to start doing an extra farm at some point. I need some more plump helmets going. We have got a lot more people, and of course a lot more people brings more responsibility. Hmm, what is that? It looks like a load of bolts. That's a bismuth bronze bolt, which is one bolt sitting there by itself. Okay. Yeah, we made more wooden training axes. There we go. We didn't need the metal forge. That's very useful. Very useful indeed. Oh, let's look at all this. Copper bars, silver bars, copper bars, silver bars. So, we gave you the smelt tetrahydrite, and we didn't even give you a silver order, but you have been doing silver. Okay, well, we'll give you the order to do silver just in case anyway. And we have ourselves a bunch of bars. So I'm thinking we need to go B, we need to go E, Furnace for some re reason. Actually no, it's Workshop, Workshop, and then it's a Metal Workshop. So Metalsmith's Forge is F. And now we'll be able to create all the fun things in life. Now we'll use an anvil. So the first thing we'll want to do actually when we get hold of that is build ourselves an anvil. Because that way we can make more anvils. How was the first anvil built? Well, which came first, the anvil or the metalwork forge? We don't know. We don't know. It's one of these age-old questions in life that will probably go unanswered for millennia. So let's just go and build ourselves um, two iron anvils. Except for the fact we don't have any iron. Really? Do they have to be iron? Or steel? Or, uh, well, I guess we need to get ourselves an extra anvil from somewhere. Or iron. Hopefully the dwarves will come along. Possibly the humans, but probably the dwarves. And they'll have them on them anyway. So let's go in here, let's make ourselves some silver crossbow. Oh, silver crossbow? Crossbow. Oh, we can't create a silver crossbow, that's really disappointing. We can make a bone crossbow. Ugh. Well, I guess we make ourselves for now a copper crossbow. Let's make ten of them. And then let us go back to our group of people using M for military, and then we go to E for equipment, shift W for weapon, and I would like to give you individual choice melee. That way they have a melee weapon as well, and they will choose it based on what they think they're best at. So I'm also going to include silver maul. Uh, forge me... Oh, it's mace, sorry. Mace. Forge me three silver maces. Silver... Because silver's really heavy, right? So it makes a really good hitting thing. Hammer? Yeah, forge me at silver warhammers, three of them. Spear. Oh. Did I just delete something important? Probably. Spear. Um, spears need to be sharp, so silver sucks at being sharp. Unfortunately, we don't have anything else. It's going to have to be copper. Sword. There we go. We'll get three copper swords. Actually, let's go to five because they're popular. Axes. We want uh, forge me a copper battle axe. Three of them. I think we've got most of the weapons. Yeah. Let's have one last look in here. So, oh, no. A. If we would say we wanted to make bars and we wanted to make them out of a specific material, charcoal is not a material, coal is a material. Okay. So, say I want to make them out of coal, and I wanted to keep a stock at all times of minimum 30, maximum 75. 
Yeah, so it is registering that we have 40, so that should in theory work. No. Oh, I oh, said no. no. Another dwarf is gone fey. Commenter is taken by a fey mood. So he's going to be doing something interesting. Uh, we'll see in a second what he's claimed. He will kick someone out. He's claimed a carpenter's workshop. Let's watch him. He's going to go pick stuff up. So he's gone from the carpenter's workshop. He's gone to go grab something. He'll be back in a second. There we go. He's added something there. It's being claimed and it's being used. Okay. What do you? What have you got there? Hmm. He's begun a mysterious construction. He's working furiously. Okay. Interesting. Hmm, okay. So he will make us something interesting. These happen from time to time, these fey moods. I don't know if I've talked about them before, but I'll cover them anyway. Um, there are things like, um, you know, fey mood, they're possessed, and a couple of other messages like that. They'll pick a random workshop. I think it's normally assigned to whatever skills that they have. So if we look at him, we probably find he's a carpenter. And then they require some pretty random items to make something. Now, he's picked up two things. I can't remember what they were. But we'll probably find that he's creating something like a wooden bed that's amazing. And it's probably unlikely to be a bed. But there are a number of things it could be. And we'll see. And then, of course, it's probably going to sell at a really good value because they tend to be pretty good quality when they come out the other end. Anyway, there's one last thing I want to talk about before we end for today. And if we pull up Dwarf Therapist, we can open the optimizer. So let's go New Optimization Plan. Because we have so many people, right? We have so many people. So let's just uh, go back to Labors, actually, before we do this. Select everyone. Optimizer. New Optimization Plan. Let's call the new plan Optimal. And it, optimal, of course, has an M in it. Optimal. There we go. Max jobs per dwarf. Uh, this you want to be fairly low. Basically, this is going to figure out what the most optimal distribution of jobs is for you guys. So I like to put that maybe about 8. Maybe maybe even a bit lower than that. I think eight's about a max. And hall of percentage. This means anyone with less than the you know 100% jobs, so anyone with less than 8 jobs will also become a hauler. Percentage of total jobs, 80 seems about right. Uh, basically, it means that, you know, it'll assign 80% of the total possible jobs, so 8 times the number of doors you have, which means 20% will end up being hauling, I think. We'll also exclude active military, exclude squad. I don't want that on. I want to exclude nobles. Eh, not the moment. I want to exclude hospitalized. Maybe good later, but not right now. And also, same again for squad, especially since our squad aren't doing anything, We're waiting for them to be equipped, and we need equipment for that. Uh, they aren't active yet. So, then what do we want to do? Um, ooh, well, it seems a bit empty, doesn't it? You've got to right-click, and you've got to assign remaining 63 jobs. And there we go. The 63 jobs appear. As you can see, we have a lot of jobs sorted alphabetically. Now, let's go find something that we actually care about. So, like, carpentry. There we go. The role is carpentry, because that's the skill it uses. The job being carpentry itself. Priority and ratio and then work account. So let's actually talk about what this does. Priority. When you go through and it does its pass in determining who gets what job, it will look at the first priority. So if you've got several, you know, different jobs, you want the most important one to be first. That way you've got, like, say I've got a legendary miner here. And if mine is a fairly high priority, which it probably will be, our legendary miner will be given the miner job first. And then he might have all his jobs used up. Whereas, if, say, we had mining last, it might go, oh, I've got some spare fishing jobs. Give him the fishing jobs. And when it comes to mining, it might look at him and go, no, you're full, and pick someone else. So you really want, you know, the priority to be given for things that you want your good people on. Ratio, it determines really how much, how many people you want doing that job. But not an absolute number, it's compared to. So, say, if we had two people doing animal training... We'd want maybe, I don't know, well, if, if, if you had two people on animal training, I'd probably want about at least eight doing carpentry. Animal training is kind of boring. So ratio determines how many compared to the others you want. So the ratio of people you want doing those jobs. So the ratio of jobs available in your fortress. Now, I'm not actually going to assign them here on screen. I'm actually going to end the episode and then I will assign them 
in between episodes because oh, I've got 63 jobs to go through. It will take me a little while. And there'll be a bit of tweaking needed. But as you can see, there are a fair few things. You can, of course, actually get these profiles online. There are a couple of uh, available linked off the wiki, I believe. If you search for the optimizer uh, on the wiki page, or at least on Google, you'll probably end up on the wiki page anyway. There is one link there, and you can just use that. And, of course, you can then hit import. I'm going to do it manually just because, you know, why Why not? You know, what the hell. But, uh, yeah, this is particularly useful rather than having to tweak it all yourself especially when you get to, you know, 50 dwarfs. Anyway, I've been Andrew I'm going to end the episode here. If you've liked today's episode and, you know, you found it particularly useful, well, I guess, you know, like the episode. It is helpful. And if you're not subscribed and you want to see more Dwarf Fortress or indeed anything else I do, well, then subscribe. Makes sense, right? Anyway, I've been Andrew and as always, stay shiny.